Psychotic invertebrates cause chaos in worms four. When squirming, limbless creatures crawl from the ground and start killing each other with exploding livestock, it can only mean one thing. The worms are back. Team 17's classic game of strategic annelid warfare has seen many incarnations. It started life as a strictly 2D affair, but made the jump to 3D towards the end of 2003. Now, thanks to Codemasters this time, the latest full-bodied edition is here. Worms 4, Mayhem. The drill is the same as before. You command a team of amusing yet heavily armed worms in turn-based battle against enemy invertebrates. Your only choice is to fight until none of their ranks are left standing. Well, wriggling. When the series first adopted 3D gameplay, there were issues with camera angles. Thankfully, a more versatile camera with extra viewing options means that you never lose sight of the action. Environments come in five flavours. Jurassic, Camelot, Arabian, Wild West and Construction Zone. You can destroy every piece of the environment and you can build your own maps, so there's no way you'll run out of things to blow up. Clearly, longevity won't be a problem. The 25 objective-based missions for solo players are challenging and help develop worm skills, but the game's main appeal is facing off against human opposition, either at home with your mates or via the online modes. This is where the fun really begins. Customization features heavily, and it's not just the worm's outfits that can be modified. You can build bizarre weapons of mass worm destruction, and it's very entertaining to see your fiendish creations in action. There's also a range of new weapons to try out, like the poison arrow. Sniper rifle. And the spectacular starburst. This return visit to Worms in 3D has righted many of the wrongs of the previous Worms effort. Making this a gameplay experience that's much easier to enjoy, especially with friends, we'll give it 4 out of 5. <laughs>